Welcome to the press conference, Coach. Uh, you can share with us your thoughts on the game. First of all, congratulations to Syrian team. They deserved it at the end. They were more powerful, I would say. They were more relaxed in those final thirds moment. And good learning experience for us, I would say. Because overall in three games, we proved that we can compete at this level. Obviously, everybody sees what are the missing points in Indian play. Scoring goals, which comes with having good goal scorers in the team, people with confidence in front of the goal. But overall, I need to say with everything what was surrounding us, uh, which I'm not going to keep mentioning now point by point, uh, we can take a good lesson from here, good learning, and say that in the next edition of AFC Cup, we're going to be much, much stronger, definitely. Thank you. Questions, please. Coach, how did the... Hello. Coach, how disappointed you are, your team cannot score a single goal in whole tournament. I know that. Thank you for that information. The team produced enough chances to score enough goals. And you all know in India why we are not scoring goals at the international level, which should happen. When we start having Indian players on the center forward position, then we're going to have many more goal scorers for the national team scoring. So that question kindly put and raised somewhere else, not here. Coach, uh, this is Niladri from uh, Sportstra. Uh, a major portion of the game, India had its defense under control. Uh, after Jingan left, do you think that was an effect uh, to conceding the goal to Syria? No, I don't think so. Uh, Beke and uh, Subashish were quite good today, confident in everything, although Becker getting booked so early into the game didn't make it easier for him, but he controlled everything and every situation in a quite satisfying way. So they handled everything well, and it's a good and positive point for me as a coach to know that we can handle situations without Jingan when he is not there. I think that our biggest problem today, because we had a clear plan to take the game into 60 minutes with a clean sheet and to bring on the fresh legs, which I was hoping will give us something and get an impact to this team in the last 30 minutes, which obviously didn't happen. I think Udanta was the only one who came uh, as a substitute and had few things uh, done well. Others didn't have any impact whatsoever, you know, and that's what kills us today. Yes, Sente here. Lays where Adar Mokaila have been Surin Wahtarifin. Give me a second, just please. Sorry, coach. I will speak with Arab. I will. I will speak the question in Arabic because I want uh, my viewpoint to be 100% clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm ready now to hear it. Bidayatan hard luck ala al-khasara liyom wa natamanna ala kum. Hard luck ala al-khasara liyom wa natamanna ala kum al-tawfiq fi al-qadimat. لدينا احترام كبير لكرة القدم الهندية وخاصة ما يقوم به الاتحاد الهندي لكرة القدم على مستوى الدوري السوبر ليج والآي ليج وأيضا على مستوى اللاعبين المحترفين الأجانب في السوبر ليج تحديدا والمدربين الأجانب على مستوى عالي في الدوري وفي المنتخبات ولكن عندما نتحدث عن تطور كرة القدم في شرق آسيا نتحدث مثلا عن على سبيل المثال فيتنام ومنتخبات أخرى ولا نتحدث عن هذا التطور على مستوى المنتخب الهندي حسب وجهة نظرك كمدرب قادم من قارة أخرى وعاصرت الكرة الهندية بشكل واسع ما هو السبب بضوء العمل الكبير اللي عم بيقوم فيه الاتحاد الهندي لكرة القدم وفق النقاط اللي حكيت لك إياها وشكرا جزيلا نعم yeah. A long question which got nothing to do with this game today, you know. It's about 
general things and problems in Indian football, so I wouldn't waste this time here after the, after the game to speak about general problems we have, which we are working on and trying to sort out. Thank you very much. Hi, Coach Ashish Negi. Hi, Coach Ashish Negi from Kerala. Coach, uh, just wanted to ask on the substitution because in first few games, you know, uh, Rahul KP came on, he looks good. Then at one game, Leston came on, he looked good. But today, you put on Udanta for 45 minutes. Any thoughts? Because sometimes maybe we are missing the consistency in terms of players coming on, you know, attacking players especially. No, the players, whatever they get during the games, that's what they deserve on the training pitch. It's a simple philosophy which I have. You know, we cannot credit it players for what's been done in the game five days ago. I follow my players day by day on a daily basis, watching their body language, their behavior, how uh, relaxed some of them go, uh, how confident they are about their position. I don't want that. I want competition in my team in each position, every minute, every second of the day. I don't want people being casual, relaxed, and, and similar things. That will not take us anywhere. And you could clearly see, obviously, I feel sorry for Liston because he had a fever a few days back for a couple of days, and to use his body after the fever in such a short time, I wouldn't be serious as a coach to expose him so much. So that's the reason for him, why was not he selected or involved in the last two games. But overall, all the boys had a good learning experience here, Ashish. Obviously, you know all the problems of Indian football which are there. As much as you give, that much you get at the end, you know. And that's my conclusion of this tournament. Uh, I said many times how far we can go if we are given enough time to work together because we have many young boys here, many of them knocking on the door of the national team. And now we are entering this phase where we can say, okay, these players earned in the last four years to represent India at the Asian Games, Asian Cup, sorry. Uh, but now, in the future, everything will depend on their performances in the clubs. You know, so that will be the main uh, reason how to select the players for the national team. Yes, please. Great. Was, no, okay. Great first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, coach, uh, do you think the team was lacking discipline early on with uh, the early bookings, or do you think the referee was a bit too harsh? Because you also got into no, sort I'm, of I'm verbal... No, I'm definitely very confident that referee was too harsh on India today, you know. Because if he starts the game with criteria about letting contact game go, then each contact, you cannot sanction the contacts which are made by India's side and not sanction the other side, you know. Our centre-back got booked today for a simple foul and the other day we have seen uh, people got knocked with a boot in his face and he's not red carded. So I'm not sure about is this crit criteria changing from game to game or what's happening here. We have seen today also hitting a player off the ball, it's a red card. It's a red card, I'm sorry. That kind of behaviour, that's a red card. There is no explanation, there was not enough push or player who got down, it's not seriously injured. I'm sorry, that's a wrong behavior and he needs to get a red card there, simple as that. So, I'd, overall, I love this uh, criteria referring, let the game go, let the game go. Let's not be soft, let's teach these players that this is a, this is a strong, strong sport. We need to see tackles, we need to see ex excitements and all that. But some referees are not sticking to that, you know. They are adjusting their, their decisions. I'm not sure about criteria how they do that. You know. I think that the, that the wrongiest thing for one referee is to have double criteria. If you start wrong, finish on the wrong foot, all game. Simple as that. But just keep the same level of criteria throughout 100 minutes. مرحبا كوتش يعطيك العافية اليوم اليوم شكان المنتخب الهندي من المنتخبات الجيدة 
تحياتي كوتش يعطيك العافية اليوم المنتخب الهندي كان من المنتخبات الجيدة قدم اسم قدم شيء رائع قدم شيء متميز يعني وكان يلعب ويهاجم ولكن ما في هداف يعني هذا كان لعب جيد ممتاز السؤال ما رأيك بما قدمه المنتخب السوري الذي تأخر بالتسجيل حتى الدقيقة ستين معناته كان المنتخب الهندي ند قوي للمنتخبات وتطور أداؤه من اللعبة الأولى حتى اللعبة الثالثة شكرا لك Thank you for your question. F uh, listen, that difference in quality which we have from some Syrian players to Indian players, it's the difference in the result at the end. Because the number seven who came on the pitch, his market value doubles the market value of my 11 players. You know, on the market he is worth 4.5 million and starting 11 of India are worth 2.5 million. That's when we speak about difference in the final third, execution. That's the difference. You have the guy in your team who in last 15 games in uh, Emirates League scored 11 goals. And for you it's enough to, to bring such guys last half an hour there to make difference and score the goal. And that's precious for one coach to have, you know. Uh, we didn't have Sunil today in great opportunities and situations, but he was handling ball well. If he had one half a chance, I was thinking that ball, that ball he, which he wanted to play with his chest to another player, normally he scores from those that situations. He's not the one who is passing ball to others in the, in the box, you know. But didn't happen today. And as you say, uh, for me, satisfaction point comes from uh, watching my team create chances against, against sides like Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria. And that's, that's the thing we need to be happy about and now look back to where we stand and what needs to be done for us for the future and turn all our strength to March and World Cup qualifiers to do well there. Thank you very much. We'll take one last question before the end yeah. of the press conference. <coughs> Uh, coach, we have, uh, I think, Coach, we have very two important games in March, as you touch upon. Also, there is AFC Under-20 Asia Cup qualifiers coming up, and your coaching, you know, staff might have to be reshuffled accordingly. Mm -hmm. So, can we, you know, in terms of squad you have, I don't think we're going to make many changes in the March, right, other than the injured player coming back. When was the last time India qualified for AFC Cup in Under-20, Under-18, Under-23? Never. Then how are we going to have good senior team? How we expect good results at the senior level of AFC Cup if we don't even qualify with under 18, under 20, under 23 for the Asian Cup? Development, coaches, investments, structured competitions, long-term plans, that will take us forward. I don't have magic sword. I'm sorry, I'm not magician. I'm a hard-working guy who understands football and who is asking you to turn things around and be patient because good things in football will not happen overnight. It won't. I will take you in next 12 months to the third round of the World Cup qualifiers. I promise that to you. I'll do that. But after that, things need to speed up with investments, with foreign coaches coming, taking charge of Indian football academies, speeding up the competitions, more, more number of serious competitive games for the kids, not for the kids of 12, obviously, for the kids of 17, 18, because there we need competitions. Until 14 years of age, we need to teach the kids how to handle defeats, not how to, how to learn to win the games. <laughs>